This is the IA Podcast, now serving a slice of bread with every slap to the face. Today on the podcast, we talk again about the vanilla server for World of Warcraft, and there's a couple of new developments going on in there. We talk about some more YouTube drama, and we talk about some very interesting things that have happened to certain people in our community. <clears throat> Anyways, um, this is the IA Podcast. You know, stick around. It's, it's sure to be a great one. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of the Insomniacs Anonymous podcast. Today is episode 10. We finally reached that milestone. Can you guys believe it? Like, today is episode 10, so what's the episode number? That cock is so huge. I don't know. What, what do you mean? What is the episode number? Well, you said today, as in like right now, is episode 10 as opposed to like June 3rd, 2016. So does that make the episode number June third, twenty sixteen, as opposed to the episode number being ten? Or see now I am I'm completely so lost. confused. But you know what? Today is the episode for June the fourth, twenty sixteen. In the fourth, all oh, right, yeah. and well, it's we recording, and it, it is yeah. episode ten. So we've somehow survived through nine episodes, which I mean, you know, for this group is like is, is quite a big achievement, you know. So, Wait so, for you to say it's I've episode lost a ten. Point. That's <laughs> well, true. What was that, Shiro? If this is episode 10, does that mean the Force has died and then reawakened? Pretty much, yeah. That's what that's what we're at right now. But, you know, I mean, in any case, what have you guys been up to since we've been here? Oh, and I, I mean, usually by this point, introductions are not really necessary. But you know what? Let's go ahead with them anyways. I'm Brian. I'm kind of one of the main co-hosts, along with two other awesome co-hosts. They are Take called a shot. Shot in the Cat. Say hi, man. And the cat. <laughs> and the we, cat. Have, we have Dude Run. A new shit. That didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is that? that didn't work. <laughs> Incidentally, that's it also whatever me. dude says every night when he's about to have Pretty sex. Much. It's high noon somewhere <laughs> in the world. <laughs> well, there you go. There. So what I'll have you that. guys? What have you guys been up to? I'm kind of interested to see what Shro has been up to since the last time we podcasted. I mean, you're gonna have to start being less interested in what I'm doing because if you say that every podcast, it's gonna make it awkward. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> well, I mean, embellish. if I exactly, you can always embellish. You know, I mean, like a few episodes ago, you know, you broke your foot or something like that. So, like, what well, what else is new? I need well, to ejaculate really, really badly. Okay, well, I mean, there's always that. Yeah, okay. So, you know, that's part of your to-do list. Um, like, and... so badly that I took a shit and I came. <laughs> now, what you said awkward. Like, I didn't think it was going to be awkward for us, but I think you've definitely made it awkward for anybody listening at home and that they have their speakers up. <laughs> so that's okay. What if they're not at home? What if, what if this is a library recording that, you know, somebody's yeah. watching on a projector screen? Or if In they downloaded case. the podcast to listen to later and they're at work with the speakers on. <laughs> I not, just like, not just the speakers, but like their wing of the uh, department floor <laughs> playing with the PA system. <laughs> <laughs> It's like someone's working in the pediatric wing, you know, and it's just like, oh, the bad things are happening right now. Well, if that's the case, I insincerely apologize. I don't. Everybody. I don't. <laughs> I, I just said I insincerely apologize. So in, I, we didn't hear that didn't part. Hear the in part. Insincere. I pretty much, pretty sure I put quite a what's the word? You lied. Yeah, probably. I guess we'll see. <laughs> we'll see you once we re, once we go back and listen to the podcast again. Now I just case. expect it to be re-edited so that you just go. I insincerely. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, just like all of our great, you know, just re recordings that we do. But hey, you know, whatever. So, I mean, what have you been up to, guys? Like, any new games that you guys have been playing? Anything new, you know? In oh, your oh, lives? oh. Wait. Um. So I mentioned World of Tanks last week, right? Or you did. Time? Yeah. You yeah. You okay. started playing that. Yeah. So I got suspended in World of Tanks. Well, that didn't take long. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, what happened? <laughs> Um, 
So, you can create parties of up to three people um, in the game. Normally, you do this because you have, like, a friends list. And you're like, hey, bro, let's go, like, you know, kill some dudes together. And that's pretty cool and all. But, um, so, another thing you can do is you can actually, just from the scorecard on your team, just there's a hot button, and you can just add people on your team randomly. Um, well, it's not supposed to be random, but you can just really... There's no, like, you know, you accept platoon because it's just a sort of bam. Okay, accept, good, go. And you can do it with up to two other people. And so a lot of people, like, all the artilleries will, like, try to hook up with each other and everything as a match starts. Mm -hmm. A few times, for reasons that I still don't know, I've gotten pulled into these platoon things. And I'm such a total nub that I'm just like, oh, I don't know, except what are we doing? And... Half the time, there's nobody even talking or saying anything. It's like, okay, we're together, yay, question mark, thumbs up, sideways, what? Um, so, I platoon up with these guys, and one guy's kind of a douche nozzle, and the other guy's actually pretty cool. And we end up buddying up later, and he gives me some pointers on, you know, how to shoot better, what tanks are good, what tanks are bad. Um, and the fact that, you know, oh my god, oh, I'm so sorry you have that tank that you're in right now, but trust me, the line gets, you know, your, your tech tree gets better as you move on a lot better, you'll like it a lot more, just suffer through it, whatever. Until eventually that we've, you know, played back and forth with each other for a few days, and he gifts me this uh, tank from his inventory, um, that is a, quote, premium tank. So it has like faster um, experience gain in it okay. um, and everything. So it's also a heavy level four tank. So it's actually really good at taking a beating. So the tanks that I had that were, you know, getting one shot because I'm a nub and uh -huh. it's new and shitty tanks, this thing can take a beating. So it was like, hey, you can actually have some fun with this one while you try to have to deal with this. Um, I'm like, hey, cool, thanks, man. And so I used that for a few days, and then suddenly in the middle of the game on Memorial Day, it just is like, hey, connection terminated. Your account has been suspended due to a chargeback. So it turns out that he actually bought the premium tank, which is how you get them, mm -hmm. um, for me as a gift for like $10 or something. And then for some reason, it resulted in a chargeback on that purchase and I don't know if he intentionally called in a chargeback, or if, like, he just didn't know that the account he used was, um, or, like, the credit card he used was, you know, over its limit or something. Regardless, it dinged the, uh, Wargaming.net developer, and the way they deal with that is they meet any chargeback immediately gets the account suspended until the, uh, price dispute is resolved. No. I.e., Pay them. Um, the problem with this is that because it involves a gift and there could be other, you know, weird schemes going on with people, mm -hmm. you know, gifting back and forth shit, um, their policy is that the person giving the gift and the person receiving the gift are both suspended. Wow. Okay. So, I mean... It kind of sucks, but in a way, this is good for people that are trying to scam other people or so. So not only is the one account, but both of them completely get banned or whatever. Or for Pretty much. But so the I only mean, sad thing is, is that like four days later, still nothing has changed. And I don't quite get like the, even the guys at Wargaming Tech Support were like, yeah, um, you can totally pay the $10 and it'll unban your account and his. Um but that's really the only way to get it done. Um, you can try contacting him on the forums or something to try and do it, but be warned, this is actually kind of a malevolent practice where people will use dummy accounts to um, shoulder newbies with, you know, shitty real-life baggage by trying to be nice, and then it turns out to be a scam kind of a wow. thing. And... I, I kind of thought that for a second, and that's still totally a possibility. The part that's weird is I totally saw evidence that the guy is a little bit far into the game, 
like has multiple high tier things. Mm -hmm. So he either has a shit ton of accounts or he did this and didn't think it through because he totally just got his main um like good account suspended. It would be like if your WoW or Guild Wars 2 account that you've been playing for like a year or more suddenly just you did something stupid to get it banned. I'm like, um yeah, that really okay. sucks. Wow. But yeah, he hasn't paid it yet to get his account back, and so I'm like, I'm not sure what to think on this. I mean, so, would you be able to open up just a new account? How far into the game were you? How many hours did you put in so far? I mean, I kind of, I had new game syndrome, so I kind of cracked out on it. Uh -huh. um, I put in like 200 some fights just prior to this event happening. Like earlier that day, I crossed the 200 mark. Um which isn't actually a lot in that game. A lot of the veteran players have several thousand mm -hmm. fights logged. Okay. Um, but for somebody that picked up the game, like, at that point two weeks ago, or maybe less, to have <laughs> that many battles, like, yeah, you, you, you put some effort into it. Um, and on top of that, I was... What I was trying to do with the game, and I still kind of want to do, uh, as I said earlier, like the early parts of it could really suck, and I'll, and in that case, a lot of the things do. But like, I was just getting to the part where like one more tier, and it was finally going to start being like, all right, now I have some cool toys to play with. Right. Yeah. And so I'm like, uh, I don't really want to do all that again already, like. Maybe if I'd had the game for a year, I haven't touched the newbie stuff in a while, maybe, but... Uh. Man, but that that sucks. Yeah. I mean, I can fix it with $10. True, so, but I mean, you know, it's like... But yeah, it's it, kind it, of it, shitty that I, I was planning on keeping it free for a long time. And, of course. Well, actually, no, because they were going to have sales coming up soon. Um, but for, I mean, still, that ten dollars like, could have yeah. gone for something towards it, yeah, that sale, it could have gone you know? something towards better rather than just you know unlocking my account because somebody else is a fucking dillweed. Yeah. But <laughs> well, you know, better. I hope somehow you're you're able to kind of get that account unlocked because that's just that sounds like really shitty. Uh, so shitty. So <laughs> that and me and Rocket League, you know, having our love hate ball humping. Marathons with each well, other. I mean, honestly, it. with you and Rocket League, that's just an abusive relationship. I'm it sorry, really man. It really is. It really is. I actually is. was having, like, it started out kind of bad tonight, like it normally does, but as I started going, like, I started making some really good shots again and, like, actually getting my aim on point once more, okay. which, you know, is super key. Oh, hi, large truck. Go away. Um, <laughs> so that was kind of nice, but yeah, it's still pretty bad it's like oh you you had a pretty awesome shot there but you're off by a degree so hey your opponent's gonna get the ball and they're gonna score because game hates you and physics and fuck that and shit <laughs> oh man yeah actually rocket league is a really fun game um i feel like i've gotten really good at it now like i mean not expertly good but i feel like i'm getting to like you know some really solid mid-level kind of like skills now that's good what kind of game mode are you playing mostly just straight up like 3v3 so i'm playing with like a yeah. friend see that's uh, the problem i think i also have is i'm like i i don't like going into the multiplayer matches unless it's with people i know um just because there's so much variability there fair um, enough and for that reason i play 1v1 all the time and 1v1 is fucking brutal it is it is the metalocalypse level of brutal i can because... imagine because i mean like i mean let's say yeah you're doing the 1v1 and then for some reason you miss a shot and you're just badly out of the way like yeah, there it, is nobody your opponent defending. just has no yeah that, There's and that's no true, defending yeah. whatever it's your punishing. opponent does yeah so it's more like it's almost like a game of chicken really you know see who like I don't know who who goes first and who gets screwed over first, you know. So it's like, it seems really brutal. But yeah, no. For the most part, we play like three v three, um, with a friend of mine, and uh, we've been we've been having a blast. It's been really good. I mean, it's really the only game that we play together. But um, yeah, we've gone pretty good. I mean, we definitely have our bad games as well, where we're just completely creamed. And I mean, this is a it, 
it comes down to a mix of like, okay, who the third player is because that third player is usually always some random online person or a bot if there's nobody there. And who is the other team composed of, you know, like, are they doing like a lot of like weird stuff with the ball? Are they all flying all over the place? That's one thing we haven't gone there yet is the whole flying technique. Like so far, that's that's I think that's the last thing that we really need to kind of get into. Aerials are kind of ridiculous. I wouldn't worry too hard about it. What I might say might be a graduation to aerials is learn and master how to, um, like your gar your car has the ability to jump up and jump up again. Yeah. Um, or as a lot of people use the second one as a roll, mm -hmm. um, which are all very powerful, but. You can get a lot of height. People underestimate how much height you can get out of just doing a straight double jump and not, like, twisting your car or doing anything weird with it. Um, and so you can intercept a lot of shots and change the direction of the ball really easily without even having to use the rocket mechanic of it that way. It's a pretty good way to work on... Yeah, definitely we'll be, control. we'll be looking into that because, yeah, for sure, like, I mean, when you do that double straight up jump, it's like you cover a pretty good chunk of the of the net. So, yeah, you cut you. Yeah, you get pretty much almost everything. But like the last. um, The last not even ball there of like, yeah, yeah, so. on that. And really, it is all about timing that game. Timing and good. Oh my angles. god! Timing and ang yeah, it's three D billiards. It really is. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. And that's, well, that's the part that annoys me is I think the the beauty of controller play is there's like the the analog stick where it's a very smooth control of steering so you can dial in that perfect angle to hit something uh -huh. pretty easily and because I'm a keyboard player it's just you know it's a button tap and the car moves just it jerks left or right I still don't know do how I still don't know how you're here playing that game with a keyboard and mouse, yeah. man. I just, I don't. Like, I mean, my friend was playing with the keyboard and mouse for, like, a couple of weeks until she finally ended up getting a 360 controller. And I feel like her gameplay has gone, like, way up since then. So I can only imagine how much more your skills are going to go up if you just get a controller in your hands. Get a controller in your hands, Shro. Yeah, Who will do I know. it? <laughs> I I actually, I've, at Micro Center, I've looked at controllers before, but a lot of them are like knockoff PS2 controllers that look like they'd break or just not even work well. Oh, so, I see. I, 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 yeah, I haven't I mean, sprung know, on it yet. Eventually, I'm sure you'll you'll get one and you'll see the difference. You'll see the light soon enough. Though I have actually played the game with a controller. Um, it was a hot what match thing. It was at... Um, college uh, in between classes some these group of kids would meet up and just hang out you know the typical nerd crowd but for Akron which I didn't know the nerd crowd in Akron very well okay um like some of these kids actually brought in CRT monitors to play like fucking Mario Party 3 and shit like that. I'm like, you guys are bringing <laughs> full-on consoles in your backpacks. That's what awesome. is going on? That is some new um, level of nerdy geekiness. Yeah, it was intense. Um, <laughs> another guy, that another group frequently brought Kingdom Death, mm -hmm. which is this crazy um, high-level and high-difficulty... Um, minis board game so everything's got a figure yeah. uh, and it's huge it takes up easily a you know five foot by five foot table and that's not even including all the stuff that's sitting on the side um, and yeah the box for it is unwieldy huge it's <laughs> probably like a yard long box okay. a foot and a half wide yeah. Nice. just carries it around there like, you go geez. <laughs> so, so but I mean, yeah no much, this guy had a uh, rocket so, league there sorry yeah, so rambling. pretty much i was gonna say i mean like so you've pretty much had like a free fairly you know fairly um event packed week let's short circuit this sure talk too long somebody <laughs> else talk go <laughs> so um, moving on what have yeah. you been up to dude right uh nothing that long with the <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude, I could uh, make eating a fucking pretzel long-winded. <laughs> we know how this works. <laughs> Somebody has to tell... Shro, suck a cork in it. Go ejaculate in the corner. <laughs> Fuck. Well, you want do me to something. Say that next time I'll do that. <laughs> So what have you been up to, dude, Ren? Uh, playing Overwatch, doing some YouTube stuff. I'm trying to get another charity stream going, but uh, running into some issues at home. Oh. It's kind of like I'm forgetting to get a thing that I need to get before I start announcing anything. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. It's a surprise. Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to that. I was glad to be able to make it to part of your last charity stream, but I did have to go to work. So unfortunately, mm. I couldn't stick around for too long. But yeah, definitely looking forward to your next stream. Thank you. And thank you to people who came. I, I haven't made that vlog yet. But thank you if you came by and at least like just stood there and watched awkwardly as I tried to solve puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> it was a horrible time. Oh, good times. <laughs> I'm not smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those good old Zelda games. They, you know what I? What is the latest Zelda game that that's coming out, or is there any new Shit, Zelda games? Know. There's one for the Wii U coming out. I think that was supposed to be like a retelling of the first one, the very, very first one. Oh, really? That sounds interesting for like the Super, or mm. no, not Super Nintendo, the original. The Super, yeah, the, the original Nintendo, yeah, the NES. That would be really cool. I would be so up to seeing that. Me too. Yeah. But I need to get a Wii U first. And, oh, for sure, yeah. yes. You know, the Wii was a fantastic console, despite, you know, what people may say about it. But mm. third-party games, like, yeah, definitely not really the best scene on the Wii for the most part. Yeah. But, like, those yeah. Nintendo games, man, like, they really know how to, like, make a game based oh, around yeah. that console. Like, they know how to make party advantage. games. They know how to make great party games. Party games Fucking... and even single-player games. I mean, like Mario yeah. Galaxy, you know? That was a sick, oh my God. sick that was, game. That was pretty. That was glorious. And holy shit, my ears gasmed. <laughs> oh, my God. It was so good. I mean, for a non-HD console, you know, I mean, it just it looked gorgeous. <laughs> and the gameplay was there, too. So... I, I, you know, it's it's a shame that the Wii U wasn't able to follow up that kind of success, but I mean, uh, yeah, it was just a whole marketing mess and like people, it's just market confusion, honestly, that's what it was. It's like, you yeah. know, like, what, you name it Wii U, people are like, what what is this? Yeah. Is this like a peripheral for the Wii or what? You know, so. They have this habit of like releasing one kind of console, then releasing it again with something better. And then releasing something else with like the similar name as the last one they had, and then they just kind of keep going on with it. So why don't they just yeah, stick to I one mean, fucking console, you exactly. pieces of shit? <laughs> exactly. I mean, even even someone like me, right, who like follows gaming news pretty closely, I even I was confused. I'm like, what is a Wii U? So it's basically they're just selling us, you know, that the, that controller with a screen in the middle. Like I thought that was an add-on for the original no, that's... Wii. You know, that's, that's a separate thing. But that is, yeah, it's part of the Wii U, right? Like, I mean, it's mm. it, it's a whole separate console. But that's what I thought at first when it first was being announced. I'm like, oh, okay, it's just like it's some kind of new peripheral for the Wii. But I didn't know it was like an entirely new console that they were about to release. So, I mean, definitely they could have done a much better job just trying to, like, stand out from their previous Wii. Yeah. And the DS and 3DS. Holy shit. And then you have the there's 2DS. There's so many. There's the 2DS, the 3DS, the 3DS Lite, the yeah. new 3DS, new 3DS Large, I think, XL. Yeah, XL. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, a lot of know. companies are very particular about pro pro protecting their identity. Not their identity, but, you know, kind of uh, like their, their IP, intellectual their property. property. Exactly. Yeah. So there's not a lot of market confusion out there. But Nintendo, for some reason, they like to create market confusion within their own company. Like, I mean... Dude, come on. What is up with that? They've had so many years to figure that out. <laughs> exactly. Come on. <laughs> Get Do it together. Something. Come on, Miyamoto. Follow the examples of other companies that they've been doing it longer than you have. Or <laughs> you've been doing it longer than they have, and they're doing it better. Come on. Exactly. I know. Uh, but yeah. How's Overwatch going? Oh my god, it's... Eh. <laughs> I have to it's tell you. It's a response. Miss. 
Yeah. It's hit or miss for me. <laughs> I have to I, tell you, I was watching some YouTube videos and it was like, oh, the best the the best ten top ten characters to play as and the worst top ten characters to go up against. Guess who was the top one in both of those lists? Bastion. May. Really? <laughs> yeah, I was actually kind of surprised. It's like one person was like, man, that May, <laughs> that bitch is like the worst character to go up against. And this mm-hmm. other guy is like, that May is the funnest character to play. <laughs> it's like, wow. It really is. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, oh my God. Like, yeah, I had fun like playing May the, the few times that I played May. She's um, really good and mm-hmm. really m- a bitch to go against. But <laughs> oh my God, that's why I love her. So true. I mean, me as a, a typical Reaper guy, like I am somewhat hesitant going near a May. Unless if I'm sneaking up right behind her, then I'm usually a little bit more confident about that. But yeah, no, like head on, like when she sees me from a long distance, there is no way I am getting anywhere close to that biatch. Because even I'm afraid to go up against her and <laughs> I play May. I know what she can do. Yeah, because as soon as you start slowing down, that is dangerous for a yeah. reaper, you know, or like for anybody, really. So... Yeah, got to be careful around those maze. How about um how about any new modes that we've played? Were you there when we played um the the weekly brawl thing? Yeah, and I'm not a fan of Hanzo or Genji, so I didn't get much from it. Yeah, that was kind of rough. I just can't aim. I cannot aim for shit, which is why I play <laughs> May so much. <laughs> Like, I mean, I like those characters and I like the way they play, but I'm not good at them. Yeah. So, same. I mean, yeah. So it was really, it was a rough experience for all of us. It was fun, though. I mean, we were playing with Sockmed and everything. So hmm. that was good times. What I like about it, though, is that it either references Super Mario Brothers in the title or it references Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> Since it's called Brawl and it's the mode itself is called Super Shimada Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So it was kind of like, yeah, a total it, throwback. It still to like... sounds like Smash Brothers Brawl. <laughs> That's awesome. Very nice. So we did have a couple of news things that we needed to talk about today. Yes, we did. All right. Should we get to that then? Yeah, maybe. I, I think right. we should. All right. Well, what's first on the agenda? Well, I suppose we got some nostalgious news to talk about since that was the first thing we ever spoke about in the podcast since we right. started. Way back playback to yes. episode one. Don't actually play that episode back. <laughs> Don't do it, guys. We, we've Don't evolved do beyond the person we were a minute before. Exactly. We are no longer Pikachus. We are now Rachus. Rachus? So- <laughs> really? Yes. Rachus. Really? Isn't that what it's called? Rachu? Raichu. Whatever. When you say Rachu, it sounds like we're saying Rachel. (laughs) Well, maybe we have evolved into Rachels. You never know. I don't know what you guys look like. You know, what kind of life choices you've decided. You know what I look like. I put my face on camera every day. Uh, You might have changed since that last time I saw you on camera. No. I really haven't. (laughs) You might have. You haven't gone on stream in a Oh, that is true. I'm going to need to do that soon. Yes, you are. Do that. I saying that. (laughs) Announce a date right now and do it. Okay, fine. Let's announce the date. What is today? Today is technically the 4th. So we're going to do this on... I'll announce the date later. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways, so back to the vanilla server. Okay. Do you want to explain it or should I? Because I don't know. Well, I mean, basically what it was, I mean, there was the vanilla server that was um, run by a third party group. And it basically got shut down, right? So now apparently there is talks about Blizzard doing a vanilla server, but I yes. you're, you're the one that has the more info on this. Oh, okay, fine. Um, Nostalrius, which is the server that got shut down, has been pushing to get Blizzard to host their own legacy servers or vanilla servers. The, they made a petition to Blizzard that got 200 plus thousand signatures in like a week. Wow. So that's like half of yeah. like Blizzard's current player base. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I love World of Warcraft. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Rolling shade at Blizzard. 
<laughs> Smack yeah. talk. Anyway. Guess who also uh, just got their account yeah. banned and something. <laughs> no. See an Overwatch when you buy it again. <laughs> <laughs> that anyway. would be the worst. Anyways, yes, we'll get back to that banning okay. and Overwatch thing. But go on, Vanilla. Okay. Okay. Uh, the signatures were two hundred and sixty thousand, actually. Uh, the one of the old devs from Blizzard promised to hand deliver the petition and all the signatures to Blizzard's uh, headquarters when if they got past a certain threshold, which they did. And they, this person, Mark Kern, uh, spoke with Blizzard and asked, you know, people want these this legacy server thing what's mm -hmm. going on how can we do that and blizzard basically said they have the source code which they said they didn't have for like the original wow uh -huh. but they ran they have an unexplained problem well unex they didn't explain the problem that they had but they just kind of said oh hey we have this other problem that we can't get past so it's not as simple as putting up the source code onto a server blade and then running that. They got to work around that. So now they're talking with the crew behind Nostalrius to figure out a way around that problem, whatever the hell it is. Okay. And they actually just met with them yesterday, I think. Mm -hmm. So we'll see in a few days, maybe a week, if maybe there's some news. Yeah, that could be really interesting. I, I mean, as I've mentioned before, a vanilla server would be great just to kind of even just go back for that nostalgia trip of, you know, taking for freaking ever to level to level 60, which, hey, I'd be up for it. I mean, no, honestly, like the new WoW, you level in so quickly. It's just like some of the magic is gone, you know, like you just zoom through those zones. You just you don't take the time to appreciate all that beautiful art anymore. So yeah, you really thanks don't. for joining. Wow, congratulations! You walked 300 steps. Level <laughs> up. <laughs> you have much. breathed oxygen today. Level up. <laughs> That's kind you of what it feels like. A, you killed a fly on your arm. Level boost to 100. <laughs> Would you like a garrison? Yes. Level boost to 110. <laughs> oh but that is kind of true <laughs> it is true right? i wish like, it wasn't I mean, true but yeah i know i mean even in the expansions like you do level up so quickly i you know like it, unless if you're really taking the time and just taking a breather every couple of quests you know you're just you really are just running past a lot of that big yeah. area big zones and stuff like that and it's like i don't know like why are you putting so much work into creating these beautiful landscape places if you know you're just gonna you're just gonna fly over them yeah. exactly yeah so which is why I, I actually thought it was a great idea for them to really not let you fly up until you know a much later patch when that hmm. last expansion came out and also you had to do like a whole bunch of stuff in order for you to like be able to fly in the air in the new zones which i know a lot of people hated it but you know what i think it's great i honestly personally thought it was great when you have enough people flying over the rest of Azeroth, Outland, and the rest of World of Warcraft, not being able to fly in one spot, you get a whole bunch of players that expect it and are... I, I don't mean to insult them, because I actually kind of like this feature myself, but spoiled? Yeah, no, for sure. Of well, course. It's, even I I'm mean... kind of the same way. Like, I <laughs> wanted to fly... I can't, and I'm okay with that because I can just kind of like not get shot down by a mage when I fly <laughs> around uh, uh, Draenor. <laughs> exactly. I mean, also, it kind of adds into the whole MMO thing, you know, like people are on the ground. You're going to see a lot more people walking and running mm. around. And I, I think it just it creates a much better and kind of more community healthier environment if you see more people that are actually playing the game yeah as opposed to just like randomly just oh this guy just zoomed out and then he's gone now you know so um hopefully they do end up keeping the same kind of frame framework for the next one you know as far as flying goes but we'll see how that goes i'm sure they would if they're talking to nostalrius that they seemed pretty dedicated to bringing like an authentic vanilla wow experience at least from what they've 
said on their websites and other yeah. people have said about it. Mm -hmm. so, I yeah, kind of, I missed like the big wow. Like, I missed wow during its vanilla days. I joined around Cataclysm and I'd like to go back and play vanilla wow just like once to see what it was like. Exactly. Yeah. And I mean, that would be and great. I remember like I, I played it during vanilla, but I never really got that far into like, um, I think it might have gone right about level 50, like late 50s, you know, just in time for like when Burning Crusade came out. But I never ended up doing any of the higher end dungeons or anything like that, you know. So I really missed out on a lot of that stuff. So I hope maybe it'll be fun if I was able to get back into that once the server goes up. And if that happens and I'm able to buy it or do it for free, I will join you. <laughs> there you go. Well, I, I mean, you know, yeah, we'll be level 60, you know, maybe like a half a year after we start playing on a vanilla server. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll do like 40 man raids that take several hours, maybe a day to complete. Exactly. Yep. And we'll you got to do it in one go. <laughs> we'll be gonna... on call, no sleep. Mm. It'll be amazing. <laughs> no recording for me because I'm a YouTuber. Exactly. Oh, man. Welcome yeah. to Let's Play World of Warcraft. I'm here <laughs> with 39 other people that are probably going to talk over me. <laughs> <laughs> oh over i almost said over wow world of warcraft 24 <laughs> 7 all day all night <laughs> oh man but speaking uh, of overwatch um you know blizzard had said from the beginning that they were actually very focused on kind of banning anybody who would cheat in the game in overwatch yeah. the game has been out for a week and they've already banned a lot of cheaters um they've banned over 1500 people so that's that, it, pretty nuts yeah it's pretty crazy i mean i just i still don't understand why people want to cheat at a game like this i mean you get a thrill from it for like a couple of minutes and then after that just feels so hollow i would imagine but, i think it's probably a trolling thing i would guess yeah i mean yeah and that's fine you know you can troll it's just if you want to be out 40 dollars, that's that's on you hmm but, you know, I'm glad to see that Blizzard is actually taking this seriously because there is nothing more frustrating than when you jump in a game and you just you can't kill somebody because, you know, they're cheating. I've had some question is, how are they that. cheating? Like, have they said anything like is there like a public thing saying like, oh, hey, there's bugs in this game that make it easy to abuse? Well, uh, we just so don't know far, about. Yeah, I mean, so far from what I can see, it's just it's a it says it's like just a large number of hackers and other unfair players, but nothing specific has really been said. So, I mean, I feel like it's it's one of those things that if you're gonna cheat, you're definitely gonna have to deliberately kind of make the effort into like finding out how to cheat at this game. So it's not something like you know, oh, you just found a bug and you know you're just yeah. all of a sudden banned you know i don't think it would be just like that because that's that seems kind of unfair but if these numbers are true you know i mean that's a lot of people cheating for stupid reasons and but i mean yeah i mean other than that you know there's all the all the fun stuff that's happening right now with the new game like overwatch people are making funny videos um with like you know using mo movie clips and things like that for like <laughs> It's yeah, there's all this great stuff happening on YouTube right now for Overwatch. So, I even made one of my own from a live stream I was watching that was not related to Overwatch, but <laughs> it was nice. some streamer playing Minecraft for charity, and one of their friends got them killed on camera. And they, I remember them saying they liked Widowmaker, so I just like put a Widowmaker thing in front. It's like, oh, hey, you, you, you died in Minecraft. whoop de doo play the game. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, uh, that's awesome. So, yeah, speaking of YouTube, um, I have there's some YouTube news that you wanted to talk about as well, right? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I got to remember it exactly because I'm going to be word vomiting quite a bit. Yeah, no problem. I mean, if you need to take some time, we can always talk about something else that we've been kind of working on at least i know sure has been working in the background and that is our new discord channel hey man you'll go ahead with that first then i'll try to organize my word vomit <laughs> for sure yeah so sure man tell us what is going on if Didn't we already here. go through that 
This Not one? yet. No. Oh. For some reason I dropped the, the noun there and I'm like, we already went through what was going on and Shro babbled for like 20 minutes straight. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing, Shro. Yeah, it is. I'm still focused on it. That's how bad it was. I don't know. <laughs> mm. Um, As for Discord, uh, I've been wanting to do it for probably a couple months now since Discord became a thing, but unfortunately, that whole school thing and... Yeah... But we do have a Discord channel Let's, up. Yeah. Up now. Yeah. In fact, I'm kind of technically talking in it at the moment because I'm not muted over there, but I'm the only one in the server since it's kind of locked out at the moment. Um, but yeah, I it's going to try out Discord for a little while and we'll see how everybody likes it. It's got some pretty cool features to it that uh, nothing else offers, which is pretty nice. Um a little like, lacking in some other areas. It can't do recording. It can't uh, do certain weird, funky permissions that we have set up at the moment mm -hmm. uh, for TeamSpeak. But uh, that, those things may or may not be game changers for a lot of people. So we'll see how it goes and might be something, something to go to, especially since it's free. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, can you think of anything off the top of your head right now of something that is exclusive to Discord that, you know, not a lot of other things uh, voice clients can do? Uh, web integration. Okay, tell, tell us about that. So I'm a pretty heavy Telegram user, which does something similar. Um, a lot of users from Skype will notice this uh, showed up. Uh, I think a year or two ago, maybe a while longer. I'm honestly not sure when it showed up. Um, but if you paste like a link, uh, especially an image link or a GIF, or yes, I said GIF, let's not start that war right now. <laughs> um, and, or like a YouTube link, stuff like that, uh, rather than just your fellow um, chatters, Seeing a URL they have to click, uh, a lot, these programs will actually go fetch the information of that URL and embed it into the chat automatically. And so if I take an imager link and it's just a picture or even a GIF and I, I post it into the chat, then rather than seeing just the URL, Everybody can see that image right away in the chat. They don't even have to click it. They don't have to open a browser or do anything. And I think that's something that a lot of chat clients, whether they have voice capability or not, have lacked for a very long time. And we're, we're seeing it more in the Hangouts, in Skype, uh, and then it's branching out into other things like Telegram and Discord and other programs are picking up on it now too. So... I'm a big proponent of that. I think it's awesome. Um, it can be annoying for some people when people link, um, how shall I say, shocking material. I was going to say, like, that sounds like a great feature, except there's a certain, you know, cat in the box guy who tends to post, you know, Kodiak levels of furritude. They don't Let's know who Kodiak way. is, just a heads up. Yeah, no, brand. that's fine. That's fine. Kodiak is a legend among the IA <laughs> archives. Yes. He, for those, for those. Oh, shout Hunter his name. For those of you who Hunter? know, Hunter, you will know what what I'm talking about. But yeah, no. Hunter. I nearly choked on my beer. Okay, it's impressive that I didn't just <laughs> spew alcohol all over my keyboard. Oh, Hunter. Okay. Oh my. It was say honor or spew alcohol. I chose to say honor. Okay. <laughs> so one of the other features I thought was pretty cool too is that, I mean, Discord has the client, but also, you know, you can get people to join into your server without actually downloading the client. They can just, you just give them a website and then they go in there and they're all, all of a sudden they're just in the channel with you. Yep. Yeah, the uh, browser integration is really cool because some things can do that already. Uh, Skype is a major one that comes to mind, and I think 
kind of hangouts if you have a google plus account it'll like automatically get you to the right page through redirecting or whatever but uh these things involve a, having to have a plugin installed skype especially you have to install the skype plugin to make that work um before you can click chat invites and join through your browser discord doesn't need any of that shit click a nice. link it pulls up the discord web page and you're in awesome well there you go yeah i mean it's so, it's pretty cool hopefully you know we'll it's we'll get definitely some, noob friendly in that regard we'll get uh, we'll get some discord action going in the next couple of weeks and uh, another thing that i really liked about it actually was that you know when people are in discord you can actually tell what game it shows up what game they're playing you know like it'll say oh dude run is on you know jibber jabber you know so right it's got a it's got kind of a steam friends list uh quality to it because you not only get like who's online offline and who's playing uh what and at the what time but you actually even get all this ability like to direct message people and use chats and be able to instant message each other uh, through Discord easily. It's very seamless. It's very simple. Uh, like, you can actually add friends and have buddies and use private chats even without being connected to a server in TeamSpeak. Mm -hmm. But it's really buried and it's difficult and it's Nobody knows about it, so nobody uses it. And Discord takes that away. It puts it right in front of your face and goes, Hey, you can add this person as a friend, and you guys can talk all the time and see what each other's doing. It's super cool. Yeah, totally. So I think that'll help a lot with not only, again, the being newbie-friendly, but for people, we have a few people that are not into using Steam or... Uh, like, I'm on Steam 24-7. It's one of the things I keep running all the time in the background just to keep contact with. And I know even you guys don't do that. You guys sign off when you go to bed and all that, and I don't understand it. It's a foreign concept to me. But uh, it, it, Discord being another option, it's uh, another way to keep contact. <laughs> For sure. So, yeah, so, I mean... Uh as I said, we'll hopefully get some more action on Discord and see how it pans out. It does seem pretty promising right now. Wait, wait, wait. I want to interject with some other useless thing that I can ramble on about for five minutes. Okay. <laughs> Only five minutes, though, right? Well, we're timing you, Shro. I feel like we should have a watermelon, new drinking game. Watermelon, 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 watermelon. <laughs> there should be a, a new drinking game. There Whenever should be. Shro goes on in the tangent, you drink a whole bottle of tequila. <laughs> every time he's still talking for more than five minutes every five <laughs> minutes after he's like rambled you take a shot but we could make this shit real complicated you have to take a shot for every paragraph oh man so, at that point, even know. at that point you're still probably dead <laughs> all the alcohol poisoning happening right there yeah. uh, hey kids you like your livers don't listen to us <laughs> oh, there you go I actually was reminded just, I didn't realize how important your liver is. Like, I knew it was always really important. It's like your your body's detox thing and, you know, all the stuff that we normally know about. Oh, yeah, liver, good for you, you know. Kind of didn't realize that it's also where, like, the center of your body's metabolism is focused. Like, controlling of glucose and insulin and... I mean, even insulin isn't, it's from your pancreas, but still, like, all of these processes in metabolism for breaking fats and making fats and storing sugar, all, like, all of your metabolism, for some reason, is in the fucking liver. Like, everything else in your body, it does something special to your food, and then it gives it to the liver. Everything goes to the liver. It's like... <laughs> okay, so that's why when your liver dies, that you die. <laughs> this now makes more sense. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Didn't know that was that important. <laughs> oh man. So guys, moving on over to the YouTube stuff. Do you have? Do you know how you're gonna? Okay. Diarrhea vomit all this stuff. I cannot word vomit. I think no, but I'm gonna try anyway. Uh. 
for years and years and years, and this sounds like a uh, a stra uh, that space like display thing you hear at a museum, but uh, for many many years, companies and individuals have been abusing a law called the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, or DMCA for short, uh, to take down shouldn't. content on the internet, mainly YouTube, even recently Twitter, Facebook. SoundCloud even. And if you're a content creator like me who's kind of making money off of YouTube and maybe even Facebook or SoundCloud because that's a thing, uh, that hurts you. Even though you could be you could be looking at every angle and cover your sh cover your ass under the fair use clause, which is supposed to protect you from certain things if you're careful. People have been ignoring this and just Legal, just lawyering their way around that. So, fair use has kind of been a problem on YouTube, mo on YouTube especially. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the rest of the internet, but just like a month ago or two, I'm giving a whole history, I guess, but a month or two ago, the U.S. Copyright Office was taking comments and testimony for the DMCA and how it's either helped or hurt the internet as a whole. This was going this whole comments thing was going for a month before anyone got wind of it on the internet. And the when we finally did get wind of it, we had 24 hours to comment on this. And almost 100,000 people did. There was like 20 comments beforehand. All probably four the DMCA as opposed to against it. And then all of a sudden there was almost a hundred and thousand against it. So now pretty much the internet and the, I want to say like lobbyists for the DMCA claim act thing uh -huh. are at war to either make it better or make it worse in respectively. Okay. And just recently, like a week ago, a law firm was formed. I forget what it's called. I need to look it up. I think it's Morrison Lee. But they are offering legal services for creators on the internet. Mainly YouTubers, Twitch streamers, and maybe even people on SoundCloud. They offer regular services as well, like maybe starting a business or be, if you're an employee or an employer. Mm-hmm. But this is pretty huge, is we can find YouTubers can finally get legal help, as opposed to before when they couldn't. And if you happen to follow law in any way, I need mm -hmm. to find the guy who actually is one of the lawyers. Michael Lee, the geek attorney, is one of them. Oh, it is Morrison Lee. Okay. Is Morrison Lee, Mr. Ryan Morrison, one of the, also known as the video game attorney, and what's his face, Michael Lee, the is the geek attorney, is are running this office. So, is that okay? I hope I didn't word vomit too much. No, 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 not at all, man. Anyway. Okay. It's kind of funny though, because their whole like banner that they're going under is called FUPA. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my. F-U-P-A. The Fair Use Protection Account. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, it's good, but... It, it... FUPA, 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 FUPA. <laughs> even the like people... A weird heartbeat. Who, even the lawyers there were kind of giggling at it. Yeah, because, <laughs> I, I, because I, I believe we all know what that stands for, right? Uh, I don't honestly know. I'm sorry. I don't. I okay. feel like maybe I failed you for not knowing. Fatty upper pussy area. Anyways, moving okay. on. Okay. <laughs> All right. <then. laughs> so anyways, moving on. So, yeah. So, I mean, you know, it seems like there's some. Oh, my God. That just there. jogged memories. He's right. He's not making this up. <laughs> oh, Holy really? shit. 
I blocked that out from my high school years. That was like 10 years ago. Yeah, she's got a well, nice okay, fupa. Though. Oh my god, he's not lying. Shit. <laughs> oh, and uh, I pasted the link in TeamSpeak. I'm going to probably post it in the SoundCloud and YouTube descriptions just so people know what the hell I'm talking about because I can't talk for shit. <laughs> that page probably explains it better than I ever could. Well, there you go. All right. Well, sounds good. Is there anything we'd like to talk about before we kind of close this episode out? Uh, maybe we should talk about Shro and his need to wank. I well, need to awesome. ejaculate so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you how, know how strange it is to take a poo and realize that you just jizzed into the toilet? <laughs> oh my. That is quite a statement. Well, that there isn't an erogenous zone in that butt. You may <laughs> have called your prostate. Yeah. You in may have butt. just like rubbed it a weird way and then just like, yeah. No, no possible. You take a turd and you just, you, you squeeze that right past there. And if it's nice and full and juicy, it's just going to ooze all right out of your penis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. Okay. The, the best part is, is I'm made, I'm like, like you bullshit. Your pants and sound like shit <laughs> came out of your dick. Oh my. And I think that's, that's some worse. kinky porn, man. I don't even get into that shit. <sighs> All the Pum. kinkiness. All the kinkiness. All right, guys. Well, um, that is going to be it for episode 10. Thank you so much, guys, for being here again. You know, it's always fun talking to you guys taking an hour or so to shoot the shit and talk about all the fupas hmm. and until please don't let me talk about ejaculating and pooing <laughs> anymore like i don't know how i came up with that idea as a topic to run with tonight but holy shit <laughs> please mommy please don't let me do it again <laughs> all right, guys oh mommy oh hit me harder oh god wow okay no, i really am going. channeling kodiak wow. tonight that holy is... <laughs> That is just going Cody, to a we deep, you. dark level now. So we're going to crawl out of that uh, hole. And I'm going to say... We really, we really need to stop Hang the report because my brain is just no, going no, no, deeper no, and deeper I, into I the darkness. Some, I have some news. We just passed 10 followers on the SoundCloud page. Awesome. Woo! Wait, how did we do that in the middle of the podcast? It's not even recording. Deeply... It's not live. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we are. That's 10 future We've... deeply disturbed... People that are going to be listening to this episode. We've actually I'm, hit thirteen as of this. I am so sorry, people. Oh my god, so we're sorry. gaining we're gaining followers just by the sheer mention of <laughs> our newest podcast episode. Yes, I am. So and we're going to lose people. them all because of my fat mouth. I am so. I think we're your going somewhere else mouth. there with your fupa mouth. Yeah, yeah I would say my fat fupa. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that redundant? <laughs> I don't, kind you of, but you know, fupa, you're just you're just putting more of a um, you know, an it's emphasis. the double fat. Yes, exactly. More of an emphasis on the fatty part. So does you know? does that mean it's like a double fupa? <laughs> oh, so you can find most of us on the IEA website, which you know there'll be a link in the description. You can find you can also find, yeah. doing his. Uh, YouTube videos over in the description below somewhere. I'm sure you can find there. Brian whenever he decides to stream again in the description below. There you go. You should probably start announcing like a date. Or get Brian, online at all because you didn't announce a date earlier in the podcast, like you said, like it, I thought you would. I know, you know, but the thing is, like, I had a whole schedule planned out for it, and then you know, girls happened. So okay, pick a day. <laughs> so what pick he's really day, saying is he. Uh, Poopa, 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 and with that, poopa, thank you so poopa, much for being poopa, here. We'll see you poopa, next time. Poopa, poopa, we are the Insomniacs Anonymous, poopa, and we are poopa, poopa, out. Sleep. Poopa, poopa. No, we're going to sleep. I'm going to sleep chant Fupa now. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can actually play the video clip I wanted to play before we can actually stop recording. Well, technically, I would have stopped it already. Man, so all of okay. Yeah, yeah. No, it totally is. You better, like, still have the audience. I just created your outro music well, by you chanting better... Fupa over and over <laughs> again. You better do it fast, because the song is only two minutes long. <laughs> there. Alright. Good night. Good night.